Hi everybody, my name is Karsten Voss. I'm professor for building physics at Wuppertal School of Architecture and I'm the competition director of Solar Dacassin 21. Today is a very important day because we publish the new set of rules for the competition. And I will quickly explain you what's new in these rules and what is different compared to competitions in the past. So, first of all, the main thing is that uh, the rules cover the whole competition. And what means the whole competition? You might have recognized from the call for teams that um, you have, first of all, to work with a specific site in Wuppertal or in your town. You select a social scenario and you work on a whole building design covering these both topics. So, we have a design challenge covering the whole building design and we have a building challenge covering a part of this whole building, the demonstration unit, and this unit will be built on the solar campus and operated and monitored. On the picture on the right upper corner, you can see how teams have handled that in the past. This is a picture from Solar Castle on Middle East in 2018 from a Dutch team. You see the architectural model of the full building and you see how the hand touches a part of it. This is a demonstration unit and this part will be built on site and tested. You see that the rules as a new item has, have to cover both the design challenge and the building challenge. As it is a solar decathlon, we have of course 10 contests and you have recognized all these contests with their points in the call already. You see in this table how this contest split up for the design challenge and the building challenge. Of course, all contests are um, important for the building challenge. And of course, we can't monitor the whole building because we only have the demonstration unit. So we have all the jury contests which will cover the design challenge as well as the building challenge. So the new thing is that the juries will definitely take into account the full building design and not only the demonstration unit design. You can see on the right side that we have juried contests and we have monitored contests. So a closer look in detail to all these contests shows in this case for the first uh, five Contests we have on the left side the name of the contests. We have the total points per contest. And we here show in red colors the defined subcontests, the associated points, and the way the contests are judged. These details give you a clear indication what are important aspects of this. Uh, new edition of the Solar Decathlon. Also shows that we try to guide the juries in the way that we split up the total points per contest in sub-contests and we address specific topics. For example, in the architectural contest, we have the site integration, the building design, the interior and lighting design and the solar system integration. This is an example how the sub contests split into sub points. We have highlighted uh, a few new aspects in the competition. You see here PV system performance, grid interaction and affordability. From this uh, highlighted points you can see that we have new aspects covering a bit more the scientific related part uh, of energy in buildings. This is the PV system performance, so it's not just about generating power from PV, it's about how efficient you do this. 
And also this part is new grid interaction. This is definitely uh, with tasks covering certain issues in the relation of a building electricity consumption related to the grid needs. Of course, affordability is a very important issue in this uh, competition because you define a social scenario for your building project and it should be affordable, the project should be affordable for the people where the building is designed for. For the next five contests, once again, we have some things highlighted. So this is, for example, here in the sustainability contest, we have the circularity. So the recycling potential of the building construction as a major issue in this edition. And we also, once again, address more scientific parts like this one here, the performance gap, which means this is a difference between the simulated and the monitored performance of your demonstration unit. And as new aspects, we created a guest evaluation for user friendliness of your building and a totally new uh, contest is about urban mobility split it up in a conceptual phase and some tasks to do with the demonstration unit. A new aspect is also the passive mode operation only of the buildings on the solar campus. What does this mean? you have to consider that Wuppertal is in a moderate climatic zone. The competition will be held in September. So it's typically a phase of the year where a building should be able to run without heating and cooling. And we want to show this in the competition. So this doesn't mean that no active heating or cooling is installed in the demonstration units, but it means that they are not active during the competition and the monitoring. We take the adaptive comfort model to judge about the uh, comfort range and you see this adaptive comfort uh, diagram here with the comfort classes defined by the upper and lower lines and as long as the building stays comfortable it earns point points according to the classification. As mentioned already, we have an advanced monitoring approach and this allows us to compare the monitoring results to your simulations to predict the performance. We will definitely separate the public tour days from monitoring days so that the buildings can clearly adopt to the new situations. As I mentioned already, we are in a moderate climatic zone. You see with this diagram the typical annual situation for the global solar radiation in red bars and the ambient temperature with this uh, gray line. This is September where you can see we have temperatures on average something like 15 degrees and we have moderate solar radiation so this should be sufficient to run a building comfortable uh, without active heating and cooling. To summarize the innovations from this competition, within the rules we cover the design challenge uh, as well as the demonstration unit. So you have to work with the urban and socio-economic and infrastructure context in Wuppertal or in your hometown. We address the further building by filling a gap in an existing situation or a refurbishment addressing vertical and horizontal extensions of a building. And the focus on all of all this is the carbon neutrality of the building stock by refurbishment and solar energy utilization. For the building challenge means for the demonstration unit on the solar campus in Wuppertal, we have this advanced uh, energy monitoring approach with some scientific testing. Uh, we create the need for energy flexibility and improved building grid interaction. And this is defined with the contest in the rules. We have a comparison between simulation and monitoring results as a new issue. Uh, we also consider um, user friendliness as a new issue and we focus on 
circularity and we will provide all teams a specific tool to calculate a circularity index. Urban mobility is a very important aspect of energy needs in towns and therefore we have a contest on this and we perform transportation tasks at the solar campus as well. What are the next steps to do? Of course for you it's important to register for the competition and to substantiate your proposal for the application in October. And of course we have things to do. We have to form the selection committee for your proposals. Uh, we have to select the teams and we have to improve our site planning with more detailing for the building code to deliver to you early next year. You see, in 2020 we will publish more details for the three sites in Wuppertal, means more plan details, etc. And we will publish the building code for SDA 21 and we will define and publish uh, the jury, jury composition for each contest. Finally, we invite everybody to come to Wuppertal and join us in Solar de Kassan 21. Thank you.